From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Jakarta, a bustling metropolis with a growing population of over 12 million people. One of the popular pastimes here is eating. But food should not only be tasty, it needs to be safe. E. coli, salmonella, and other harmful bacteria can be lurking in food alongside insects and mold. These contaminants can lead to food poisoning and wastage. Indonesia is one of 60 countries worldwide improving food safety with irradiation. Research is centered at the National Nuclear Energy Agency, Batan. Dr. Zubeda Irawati is a food irradiation specialist. She coordinates several projects for the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA. Actually, to irradiate food is not a new, quite new for us. It begins with uh, five food items only, and now we have 147 food items. Irradiation is a sterilization process using radiant energy to kill harmful bacteria. The technique approved by both the Food and Agriculture Organization and the World Health Organization can extend the shelf life of food. The process does not make the food radioactive. Indonesia's commercial irradiation center, Relon, in Jakarta, operates seven days a week, 24 hours a day, irradiating food for domestic and international markets. One regular customer at Relon is Jerak Tani, a spice and sauce company based in Jakarta. Using this technique, the firm's products can last for up to a year, compared to one week if left untreated. Niken Jamin Sambiring is the director of this family-run firm. We use irradiation to control any possible contamination from bacteria that could be found in the raw materials we need for our products. The Yun Yi Tofu Company in Bogor is hoping to get a license to irradiate its tofu. Of the 30,000 units of tofu Yun Yi produces a day, around 10% are wasted because they don't stay fresh for long. This technology would extend the shelf life of the tofu from one to seven weeks. Tests at Batan on Yun Yi tofu show that the irradiated tofu remains fresh for much longer and with no change in taste. Batan is also using the technology to produce safe food, sterilizing meals and adding variety to the diets of these people. Research scientist Sri Wayuni takes part in the project. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2007. Uh, beef and this one from soybean. My immunity body is low, so I want to get uh, to improve it. And I believe this food is better because it's star sterile. Indonesia's bounty of exotic fruits promises a high potential for export but international controls to limit the spread of pests can be a hurdle. An IAEA project is now supporting entomologists to refine nuclear techniques to control bug infestation in fruit. If the project succeeds, fresh produce will reach world markets, bringing an economic boost to the country. This report was produced by Louise Potterton for the United Nations.